The brown-cheeked bulbul is one of the many rare birds threatened with extinction. Based on data from the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species in 2020, these birds are in the endangered category. Therefore, as an effort to preserve these birds, Irfan and his team brought a pair of brown-cheeked bulbul to Dehekim's aviary. And now the time has come to let them go. It's the aviary! This brown-cheeked bulbul has been quarantined here for quite some time. More than three months. Yes, that means it's time to let them go. They are male and female, right? Male and female. This is the female one, that's the male one. Shall we release the female first? Yes. Brown-cheeked bulbul in the forest is very difficult to find. Hopefully, here they will breed. Yes, yes, hopefully. Where do they come from? They come from tropical forests in West Java. Mm -hmm. And Pulo is also in Sumatra. But they are different species from this pair of birds. Okay. The brown-cheeked bulbul's status isn't protected yet. It's not protected yet, it's just, but their numbers are already scarce. If we search the forest, we won't find them for up to a week. Just pray for us, we intend to preserve the animals to breed. When they have given birth and their children are in pairs, we will look for a suitable forest to live in and release them there. So we still have a long way to go. Okay, is it okay if the male and female are released on the same day? It does not matter. All right, we're going to release the brown cheek bulbul with burst. We lure him out with crickets. Okay. Okay, guys, here's the brown cheeked bulbul with the characteristic white beard. The male bird is released too. Just open the cage, can. Maybe he was the first to leave. Yes, so the female will be lured out. The Kamaraman is ready. Yes, there are two cages that you have to shoot. Hmm. Today we release the brown cheeked bulbul at Dehekim's aviary. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! How cool, when the birds are outside like this. Yes, I love it when they are outside the cage. So guys, all the birds in the cell, I want them to fly freely in the aviary. But, I want them to be in the forest in the actual ending. We will find the forest for them. She's out. She's out. Wow, they're chasing. If they come out like this, our cameraman will have to work hard. So please respect them and don't skip the video. Subscribe to D. Hakim's Aviary because it's tough to make videos of birds already there. Go ahead, guys. Here's the information about the brown cheeked bulbul. Thank you guys. Alafoixis brez or brown cheeked bulbul. In Indonesia, this bird is known as the Ampulu jangat or Chuchak jangat, referring to the white feathers on the chin and throat that resemble grandfather's beards. The back, wings, tail, cheeks, and crest of these birds are olive brown. However, the belly and lower body are yellow. It is this yellow color, as well as the crest, that distinguishes the brown cheek bulbul from other bulbuls. Unlike the Chinese Hwemai, they are not fighting type birds. They like to live alone or in pairs. Sometimes, they also live side by side with other birds who like to group. 
However, their fighting instincts will appear when they enter a period of lust. At such times they will protect their territory from other birds. They will also respond harshly and aggressively when they hear other birds' voices with high frequencies. However, brown-cheeked bulbuls tend to be easily tamed by humans. They quickly adjust to a new environment. The level of adaptation is also good. This bird only exists in Indonesia, specifically on the islands of Java and Bali. There are also birds similar to the brown-cheeked bulbuls in Sumatra, Borneo, and peninsular Malaysia. For example, a Lafoixis tephrogenes or grey-cheeked bulbul, but they are a different species from the brown-cheeked bulbul. The habitat of brown-cheeked bulbul in the wild includes primary forest, secondary forest, and low and dense shrubs in the lowlands to an altitude of 1,500 meters above sea level. These birds are very fond of apples, papayas, and pears. They also like insects and ficus. They make their nests by gluing cobwebs to palm leaves and fibers. The nest, placed on a branched branch near the ground, is shaped like a shallow bowl. Usually, their nests are less tidy, except for June, July, and October. They will usually breed throughout the year. Two eggs released by the female parent are pink, with purplish-red spots. The brown-cheeked bulbul has a melodious, long, and varied voice. They often issue tweets, replying to each other in the morning and evening, making the forest noisy with their voices. Try to hear their voices. However, their beautiful voices are a double-edged sword. Many poachers catch them and sell them on the illegal market. Many people are eyeing these birds as pets. In Southeast Asian countries, especially Indonesia, brown-cheeked bulbul are often included in competitions. The reduction of forest land further exacerbates the situation. The existence and existence of brown-cheeked bulbul in the wild are increasingly worrying. A few years ago, they were still in the least concern category until the red list released in 2020 put them in the endangered category. But, precisely at times like this, we must fight to preserve them to avoid extinction. Let's pray that the brown-cheeked bulbul on De Hakim's aviary will breed soon. <laughs>